Okay, um, in this video, um, I want to show you the difference about the features that the auto has where you have control, uh, which is critical for you, which is different from what you have here in the Razmat auto set. Okay, so let me just jump right in. The first one is A Flex. If you hit A Flex, um, and this basically allows you to change your A Flex setting. Okay, that means it enables you to uh, to make it easier for you to exhale and make breathing a lot more natural. Okay, so you can change this number. But what I really like is this part here, A Flex Demo. This is a feature where you f you you see. Let, let me show you. If you press it, the machine is going to be running. While it's running, you can play with the the three settings: one, two, and three. And you decide if what is appropriate for you. You cannot do that on the resume, unfortunately. Okay? But yes, you can. Let me shut this off. Yes, you can on the resume. But what is critical is you must have the home care company to turn this feature on for you. They have this feature here, but once it's set, you have no way of uh, influencing it or changing it okay so then the other one let me move really quick to the next one called setup okay in setup there's a couple of things a flex we talked about this one system one and humidifier um, I'm gonna leave that for another video ramp start this is important uh, ramp is a feature for example if the doctor writes the prescription between like a minimum CPAP pressure of 10 maximum CPAP pressure of 20 meaning when you turn the machine on it starts at 10 but if you press this button that has the ramp symbol on it it is going to drop the pressure uh, for example if it's set for 5 the ramp pressure of 5 it drop it to 5 and the doctor will tell you will tell us how long to set it for for example 20 minutes and over the next 20 minutes it's going to start climbing up five you know it's, it's a boom, 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 starts climbing up to 10 okay this helps it easier for you to get used to this so you don't feel like it's a tornado blowing down your face now here's the difference you can control the ramp pressure here and i want to show you ramp start pressure after a while, I, I I can I can safely say to to a large number of people, once they get used to the CPAP machine, they may not like the ramp pressure. Or even for you, you might find the you like the ramp feature, but you find it too weak. It's not enough air coming at you. In the in this ramp star auto, you can change it. So you press that, and see so you can change it. Okay. Now the difference here is in in the respironic uh, sorry in the resmed unit you can change not the ramp pressure but the time remember i was giving you an example of 20 minutes well you can you can change it from 20 minutes 15 minutes okay you see what i'm saying you can go as high as 40 minutes i believe but you can change the time but not the strength over here you can change the strength strength but not the time okay so you see this number here that's the strength of the ramp pressure starting pressure okay so that's the difference tubing type it you must register if you use in that respironics have in combating resmat their biggest the arch rival arch, arch rival i guess is how you say it uh, they give you a slimline tubing is 15 millimeter diameter. Well, they have also come up with their own version of it. Okay, it's a 15 millimeter diameter tubing. Okay, and you must register it. If you otherwise, if you're using the performance tubing, you should make it 22. Okay, please do that because that does affect how you feel and the performance of the whole thing. Okay, put the right size tubing. Now, once again, the tubing that you get with this is the standard 22 millimeter tubing. Uh, auto on. Um, over here, you get to turn it on. That means all you have to do is put the mask on. And it'll, if I put this like this, put the mask on you and start breathing. This machine will, sh will turn on. If you go to auto 
off and you turn that on all you have to do is take the mask off your face and the machine will stop blowing air this has that same feature however you cannot control it like how I showed you here you can put on and off once the home care company turns it on it stays on with the exception of if you're using a full face mask then from for for some reason the uh, the auto on and the auto off feature will not work in the resume okay uh, so there is a difference here now let me go back here it keeps timing me out really quick so I, I let, let me do this a little faster uh, mask alert if you put it on on that means if the mask there's the there's a leak in your CPAP mask a large leak there is a beeping sound beep 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 okay that that tells you this is very good for you to wake up and realize that you know there's a leak let me fix my mask and go back to sleep or if you're using this on your child a pediatric patient it's good for the parents to know what's going on there's a leak in the system and they'll come and help out in resmed they don't have one there's no sound but they they on the screen it can say i forget how they phrase it but it'll indicate to you there's a leak okay but once again the home care company must turn that feature on for you ahead of time before you receive this now um let me see hopefully i haven't missed anything here i'm almost done guys uh let me go down tubing tap on off language you have um english and spanish okay and that's it now i'm going to create another video on info info is very important um but I'm, i'll explain to you in the next video otherwise this is far too long bye